Hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Tony from This Mama Vlogs and I've got just a little um, tutorial for you today. It's just a basic, um, just a pretty simple Valentine's Day look. So yeah, if you want to see how I get this look, just keep watching. So I'm going to start with my base. Good every time I lean to the camera, I bet you can see my grey hairs. I'm dying them later, I'm honest. So I'm trying out this Primark um, Instagirl um, Selfie Ready Blur Primer. I picked this up from Primark last week for a fiver. Um, I'll leave the link to that haul. You can see exactly what I've got. So I'm just going to dot it. Sort of, I put a bit under my eyes because that's where I've got some wrinkles. And over my cheeks. And I also like to just pat it in just to sort of get it into those pores because I'm not a teenager anymore in fact I'm 36 tomorrow so my skin is showing my age so I pat it into my pores and into those few little wrinkles so I like to just give it just a couple of minutes for it to just sort of absorb into the skin a little bit and sort of dry out a little bit because otherwise my foundation just slides straight off. Um, I bought the Clinique Even a Better Glow foundation. Um, I put something on my Instagram and this was recommended by so many of uh, my Instagram followers so we're gonna give this a go. So that's it on my hand. Just gonna dot it around a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my blending sponge. So it's slightly too dark for me at the moment. It looks, my hands look so much lighter, but I think it's just the light I'm using. Um, Cause actually looking in my mirror, it is absolutely fine. So that's my foundation down. I'm gonna pop a little bit of concealer on now. I'm using the Line Smoothing Concealer from Clinique. Now this one's, um, I like to normally use something a bit lighter because you can't really see with this light, but I have really bad bags. So I need something lighter than my foundation just to brighten that area up. So this one is just, it's an exact, colour match as you can see so I like to use something just a little bit lighter as well so I'm popping it key areas and then along with that before I start blending it I am going to be using my MAC concealer um, this is a select moisture cover in NC20 and this one is number four medium in the clinic so you'll be able to see the color difference so you can see the mac is a hell of a lot lighter but on its own i find this just settles into my creases and into my wrinkles a little bit too much whereas this one is the line smoothing one i find that it doesn't so mixing the two together should be good for me oh Knocking the camera, I always bloody do so. You must think I'm a right idiot in my videos sometimes. I'm always knocking something. So I like to bring that down a little bit and up the cheek just to brighten that area. And down the nose. And chin. So I'm starting to look a little bit more human now instead of knackered a mummy. I knew this was going to happen. This is why I don't normally film in the living room. Right, that's the dog. Calm down. I am back again. So for powder, getting back to it, um, I'm using a body shop. So this is a bit old now, so the lid's a bit manky. Um, body shop, loose face powder in. Just dust it everywhere. Yeah, I'm really liking this. 350, I think it was from Primark. But yeah, I'm really liking this just because it's so big. It just dusts the powder 
all over without concentrating too much because I find now I'm getting a bit older um, too much powder or certain powder um, just totally dries my skin out or it just shows all those lines which obviously I want to avoid I'm using my Real Techniques brush um, contour brush with my Revolution contour powder looking good now on to my eyes i'm not going to highlight just excuse me just yet because i just want to see what my eyes end up like first um and then i'll do blush afterwards just so i can decide what blush to use once um, i've done the eyes so for the eyes oh i should get everything i've got a little table here to get everything in there but i still have to reach right over so eyes wise, I am doing a nice little, it's these two shades here, sort of burgundy, pinky burgundy. And then I'm also going to be using this red shade there as well. So this palette, the main palette I'm using is a natural eyeshadow palette by Style Essentials. Um, I don't know where you can pick that up from, to be honest, because my mother-in-law got me it um, on the plane, I think it was somewhere but I'm not sure. from Primark, um, spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other, just tidy them up a bit, you can see how absolutely skinny my eyebrows are, so I need to sort these out before I can finish my eyes, so just bear with me while I use my mirror. <laughs> in with my Primark brow gel um, what colour is this doesn't say so I'm assuming it's just one shade you have to be careful with this because if you end up with a bit too much on it goes a bit funny so I'm just going to use my brush just to sort that out a minute so now my brows are done um, so I have to keep moving I'm sorry um, I can see a bit more where my eyes just need a little bit extra definition um, so I'm going to go in with um, same brush as before that fluffy one and I'm just going to go in with a brown shade. So I'm going to take this one here, the dark one, and then I'm going to use this one here, the uh, the burgundy one. I just want to define it ever so slightly. 
in that crease so I'm just tapping a tiny bit in just a tiny bit into that crease um, I just want to have a look in this mirror a minute and a little bit tiny bit onto the corner so just bringing it round ever so slightly so you can see now there's a bit more definition there so I'm just going to blend that out again with this pale pink colour on my 217 and just blend that brown out so you can't really see the brown so I want it to stay in these pinky purple shades so now I'm going to take this top colour out of the trio this is very pale pink and I'm just going to put this right in the corner but I am blend it up and then take it again for under the brown. It's got such a nice shimmer on that. And then again, just blend it out at that top bit. Something stuck to my face there. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm debating, do I or don't I go for some eyeliner? Um... I'm thinking yes. Again, it's um oh it's pound shop on this. Miss Beauty eye pencil picked up from the pound shop. So it's got quite a thick nib. I'm just gonna pop a little bit under, just right on, right, right, right on the lashes there. Mmm, not bad. Colour payoff at all with that. Really impressed for a pound shop pencil um, and a little bit on the top now I'm gonna do something I don't know I've not seen any of the youtubers do this before so I might look oh sugar I might look completely ridiculous but it's how I do so I'm going to do it I pull my eye back and a line across there so I can't do it in the camera so give me one sec pull the lid back and get it right I've just drawn on my nose I bloody have Oh my god, how ridiculous. So right, I'm going to do it now and I'm going to try and show you. The light is so bright. Pull it and get it as right on that lash line. That's it. Oh yeah, definitely needed that liner. So I'm just going to pull it. I'm not winging it, but I'm pulling it up slightly and down just to join these up and then I can blend it out. I'm also going to put some in the waterline. And the bottom. And on the top. I was so impressed with this pat, literally a quid pound shop. I love it. That's ace that eyeliner pencil. Bloody good. So I'm just gonna go in and blend this eyeliner a bit. So this is just like a little pencil brush. Um go in and blend that into the lashes so I'm not pressing too hard I'm just gently gently pulling the brush around oh yeah that looks a lot better with the eyeliner like it uh, blusher again it's a primer uh, not primer this one this is pound shop miss beauty but i really like this really sort of pale pink color mm. just really subtle but that's exactly what i was looking for with the dark eyes i don't want anything that's like oh i like that i am happy with that color caramel lashes just leave them there for a couple of seconds. Well, anyway, what do you reckon? Do you like this background in the living room, the lighting, or do you prefer in the kitchen? Let me know. I think I might end up filming here more because it's just a bit more comfier. But we'll see. So before I start with that, actually, I better tell you what it is. It's my favourite um bourgeois volume one second mascara and i love the brush this is my favorite mascara at the minute i literally don't use anything else now for the 
the lips because I'm pretty much done. I'm going to use another Primark one I bought the other day and it's the Selfie Girl. Um, really nice sort of pale, very colour. It's called It Girl this one. Um, but it's sort of a really pale pinky... Um, This would match the eyes very well and it does mm. I like this it's sort of a semi matte phone beeping as well a semi matte um, so it does feel it's not dry but um, you know it's 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 nice it's a very very nice color um, what do I need now I just need a little bit of highlight so I'm just going to use the light highlighter in there this middle one from this revolution ultra school and contour kit it's the ultra light medium so I'm just going to use the middle color um, and just how cute is this brush very nice so I'm using this one because I don't want a massive amount of highlight just want a little bit of shimmer so that is me done phone again ignore it so this is my nice little sort of simple valentine's look something nice and pretty but without going over the top i mean i like a red lipstick but for just having a meal in i don't need to be all out glam for that but i think this is a really pretty look what do you think i like it so thanks a lot for watching guys and if you don't already subscribe then please do um, and don't forget to like this video, tell YouTube that it's ace um, and I shall see you again soon.